A quarter of a million miles from Earth and descending to the moon. Live coverage of this mission was beamed across China. Computer animations used to show China's unmanned moon lander maneuvering carefully into place. A hundred meters above the lunar surface, onboard cameras began sending still images of the landing site, a lava plain known as the Bay of Rainbows. Computers on the Chang'e 3 probe controlled its final moments. Four meters from the surface, it hovered, then cut its engines. A perfect soft landing, one giant step for Chinese ambition. <laughs> This proves China is becoming a strong, big country. China now is in the front rank, right behind the United States. Just as with America and the Soviet Union's moon missions 40 years ago, China's now is a statement of national prowess, stoking national pride. And this is just the start. China wants to bring back samples from the moon in future and one day send a Chinese astronaut there. A robotic rover will spend the next three months exploring the surface, looking for rare minerals and energy sources that China could one day exploit. But for this rising nation, the science is less important than the symbolism as it reaches for the moon. Damon Grammaticus, BBC News, Beijing.